as wonderful as the PC industry is and the PC gaming market is vibrant, it is also incredibly complicated. The PC market, for example, is the only market where the platform has a range of performances from a laptop with a GPU all the way to a three-way SLI enthusiast PC. That range of technology, because we continue to drive technology forward, gives the PC the vibrancy of amazing technology. However, it also comes with it mind-numbing complexity for developers. A range of 50 times from a basic notebook with a GPU, a GeForce, all the way to an enthusiast laptop. So how does a game developer create games that can possibly scale to the range of PCs while allowing you to enjoy the games and the, enjoy it in a way that your PC is capable. The situation is incredibly daunting. There are tens of CPUs, there are tens of GPUs, there are multiple resolutions, there are multiple operating systems, Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8 coming out, and there's an incredible number of drivers. When you look at the total complexity that a developer has to consider for PC gaming, we're looking at hundreds of thousands of different configurations. And that's one of the reasons why PC games gives you all of those various settings. The settings allow you to customize your game experience so that you can take advantage of the entire PC that you've spent so much money to buy. Now these settings comes with it better experience and a scalable experience for different users. However, it also is incredibly complicated for the end user. There are so many different things to consider. Different lighting models, different shadowing models, all kinds of different anti-aliasing capabilities. All of these technologies are really exciting for gamers on the one hand. It's also complicated for the gamers on the other hand. So there's many, many configurations of PCs. Each game has many configuration settings and there are hundreds of games and they're coming out all the time. It's one of the reasons why we love PC gaming so much. In combination, we're looking at billions of combinations. In order for a gamer to fully configure each game to be perfect for their PC, just imagine the number of configurations that they have to go through. Billions of combinations. And in fact, our research shows that in fact most gamers, most gamers, simply don't have the ability or the patience to configure each one of the games specifically for their PC. That four out of five gamers simply don't adjust the quality settings that are possible in their games. Well, today, we would like to introduce you to the first surprise, something that you probably haven't th thought of us creating. This is a project ha that has been a very, very fond project of mine for the last five years. A very, very dedicated group of engineers at NVIDIA has been working for five years now to create what I'm about to tell you about. Today I'd like to introduce you to GeForce Experience. Let me tell you what GeForce Experience is. There are two components to GeForce Experience. First, we recognize that your PCs are now connected to the cloud. We now have a GeForce supercomputer with a vast array of different configurations of GPUs, CPUs, motherboards, operating systems, driver builds, and every game that we can imagine that is coming out. We literally use this data center and this supercomputer to methodically search, to methodically search the perfect setting for each GPU, CPU, motherboard, operating system, driver configuration. The second component of GeForce Experience is a console, a piece of software, a user interface that sits on each one of your PCs. This console will connect to the cloud and, be, and upload the latest driver optimized for that game 
and the latest settings that the data center, the supercomputer, has discovered for you. It automatically loads it so that when you finally load your game, the settings is automatically perfect. It is the best setting for your GPU. It is the best setting for the laptop that you have. It is the best setting for the PC that you own. It allows you to enjoy the game at its fullest. GeForce Experience, as you can imagine, the data center, the search algorithms, the connection to your PC, and the console that incorporates all of these optimal playable settings was an enormous undertaking for our company. Let me show it to you. So for example, this is a, this is a, uh, a game that has a, look, just look at the current settings, the default settings. The default settings are just simply daunting. All these different defaults, item fade, object fade, object detail fade, radio blur quality, ra reflect land, spicker look fade, di distant object detail, all of these different configurations allows the gamer to set their PC to be perfect for Skyrim. But the search for every single PC setting must be nearly impossible. With GeForce Experience, because it's connected to this data center and these supercomputers, we automatically give you the optimal settings. As you can see, the optimal settings are very different than the default settings. This is set for a GTS 450. Let me show it to you. So this is the default experience, about 25 frames per second on a GTS 450. And this is what it looks like optimized. It runs faster. It has more detail, more shrubbery, more bushes than the default setting. The wonderful thing is you could set this default setting with, without ever thinking about it. You simply click optimize my PC. Here's another example. This is aliens versus predators. This is optimized again for GTS 450. The interesting thing here is that instead of turning on SSAO and shadow quality, GeForce Experience traded that in favor of higher resolution textures, turning on tessellation, and turning on acetropic filtering. It chose a different set of settings than the default settings that came out. And notice these options are incredibly technical for an average gamer. By simply clicking optimize, this is what you get. This is what, what it was before, alien versus predator, default setting, running on a GTS 450. It's not bad, 45, 47 frames per second. However, by simply clicking optimize, and using GeForce Experience, you get much, much more beautiful textures, and it runs even faster. With GeForce Experience, we can now help the gamer, every gamer, all 180 million of them, whether they understand computer graphics or not, to enjoy video games at its fullest, and enjoy it in the best possible experience. That's called GeForce Experience. While GeForce Experience gives you the performance of the PC, which is one of the things we love about it, and the simplicity of a game console. You put in the game, and it just works. We're going to beta GeForce Experience on June 6th, 6-6, six, six, in just, in just a matter of days. I'm looking forward to showing it to you. While GeForce Experience is coming out, just at the right time, because there's a whole new class of wonderful games that are coming out. One of the ones that I'm most excited about is a mech combat game. A mech combat game. This is um, a game called Hawken. If you haven't had a chance, look at the blogs on the web. The enthusiasts are going absolutely crazy about this game. It, each one of the mechs are completely configurable, and one of the best things I like about Hawken it is free to play. So why don't we uh, take a look at it? Look, look 
at the physics processing, the destruction that you're seeing. Particle simulations, destruction simulations, the rich geometry. Each one of the mechs, the reason why they're so exciting is because the geometry is so rich. You customize each one of the mechs for yourself. It is free to play. And depending on what customizations, whether it's weapons or decals, you could tattoo your mech, give it different capabilities. This is going to be one amazing game to play. Okay, thank you, you guys. That's fantastic. What do you guys think?